You all right, guys? Um, so today we've arrived at uh, Young Offenders Institute. It's uh, HM YOI Weatherby. Uh, it's based in the Weatherby area of uh, West Yorkshire. Um, guys, do you know what, right? Um, this prison, I've come to tell a story today about a couple of prison guards here who uh, brutalised a 17-year-old lad. I read this story, it's absolutely disgusting. This is, uh, this is when people really need help. So there's people in here aged uh, 15 to 17 year old. Let's have a little look over here guys, see what's going on. So I actually remember uh, my first prison sentence was served here guys. Um, I was sentenced to two years, I was 15 year old. And I actually remember uh, getting released from these gates. I'm not here today to slag off any prison guards or put any prison guards down. Um, they do a, a wonderful job here, believe it or not. Now in this prison we've got wings A, B, C, D, E and F wing um, and as if my memory serves me correctly that is Anson, Benbow, Collingwood, Drake, Exmouth and Frobisher they're the names of the wings uh, I've, I've read up as well they've introduced a new wing here and it's for like transgender and very vulnerable prisoners uh, very volatile prisoners and that's called Keppel Wing that were introduced in 2008 um, upon the uh, Chief Inspector of Prisons um, unannounced inspection um, it's been found to be quite safe although when I were here in 2001 it was quite ruthless in here guys it was quite ruthless um, we were fighting it won't take much to get into a fight in this place. I can imagine it's still kind of like the same, but apparently they do a lot to, to help the young people in here. All right, guys. Can I just ask a quick question? How difficult is it uh, working in there amongst the young people, 15 to 17 year olds? Do I look familiar? Do I look familiar? Yeah. You might recognize me. Do you watch YouTube at all? A little bit. A little bit, yeah. You well, might see me yeah. on there. Huh? Yeah. Uh, live free. No. How long have you worked here? <laughs> I'm not answering any questions, Bob. Just uh, trying to figure out how um, dangerous it is for like prison officers working here, if there's uh, many attacks on staff and stuff like that. It's dangerous wherever you go, isn't it? Yeah, well, listen, uh, credit to you anyway, mate, because it can be quite difficult, Kai, working with young, young offenders. Yeah, yeah. It is, yeah. it is, but it's rewarding as well, you know. Well, listen, it is, yeah. Um, God bless you, mate. Nice one for that. Uh, just think how difficult some of these uh, young lads' lives are. I mean, 15 to 17 year old getting sent to a, a prison as such. They're not called convicts, they're called young offenders. And they're not serving custodial sentences either. They're serving detention and training orders. You alright love, sorry to bother you. Um, do you have anything to say about the levels of violence within this year, Young Offenders? No? God bless you love, is it difficult working in there? It's fine, thank you. It's fine. <coughs> you alright guys, is it difficult working in there with the Young Offenders? Do you find it difficult working in there with the Young Offenders? Is there much violence? No comment, okay, okay. All right. Right there, miss. A quick question: What's it like working in there? Is it uh, violent or no comment? Have you been told to say no comment? All right. God bless you. I've got. I've come round back because I thought I could see a really good vantage point. Um, having a look now, I'm not tall enough. I need some frigging ladders. Just bear with me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do some. Uh, wait there. Wait there. Yeah. One second, mate. Come in now. Right guys, I just climbed up on this part here and I got busted. You alright mate? Yeah, yeah. I have, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, and who says that? Outside the gate. All right, maybe it's got public access. 
So where, where can I actually film? Uh, so this bit is obviously people's um, housing, housing estate. So I can uh, film on here? Yeah, yeah, but obviously that's somebody's property on the top of there. Yeah, but it's yeah. not your property, is it? No, it's not. So unless they tell me to stop doing that, it's got nothing to do with prison, has it, that? It's not the prison, it's human decency. It's human decency, but I, don't, I want on top of the garage. I would actually stood on the platform around the other side. Is it your private property? Fine, but we've also got a duty for the public. You, you haven't got a duty for none of these? What do you uh, and, uh, explain? Every single human being decent has got a duty of care for the public. If you're about on so you've got a duty of care for this public as far as them young offenders go? As far as, every as, far as any other member at public, that's definitely not your concern. Care for yourself and I don't but how do, you, how do you know? You're just assuming now that I don't have permission to be there? Right, but I've watched the crime up and I don't want yeah. you to get her. You don't want me to get her? Listen, right, do you know what? Yeah, yeah. Listen, I'm not going to go down the road of trying to get into an argument with you because um, there's a lot of uh, good feedback from this prison. I've read Thank the um, I've read the inspector's report. Thank you. Right, it's been um, classed as a, a quite quite safe among the uh, secure, you know, uh, estate. So yeah. it's been classed as a, a very secure prison, a very safe prison. Uh, one story what I'm covering today is about the two prison officers that um, beat up the 17 year old. We're not going to make any comment on that. And and what I'll have guys can I just like contact the press office so what, what yeah, but, the directive yeah. from us is, is yeah. that we are to speak to nobody and that's yeah, yeah. standard across the whole yeah yeah service. but do you know what happens and, and I appreciate that and I do understand that and I already know that um, but with that when we contact the press office right, unless we say nice things about the prison we don't get any feedback from them right. right so all they want to do right is portray the nice things that are going on inside there as soon as we mention anything about the 17 year old lad now listen what we're doing right is uh, we're doing it for you as well we're doing it for the public we're doing it for the inmates but it's also listen you probably do a good job right you're there you're on about caring for public and stuff like that right? we're not putting all prison officers in a bad light that that's not the goal whatsoever right but what these bad prison officers are doing right by doing that and brutalizing inmates certain prison we go to the, the smuggle drugs the sleep with inmates right they're destroying you guys they're destroying you and you, you you might get into this job right to change lives there, there's a lot of like uh, challenged young men in there right yeah and you're there changing their lives and, and other people are unwrapping that and undoing it and when they're um, highlighted in media right that puts you in a bad light but we can't do anything about other people's actions can we no you we can't can but look after ourselves exactly and if, and if yeah we do it for us we know that we're very professional we're very caring yeah you know we look after the boys that we've got very well indeed as you, as you well really i've read up on it mate and, I, and as far as so, it goes yeah you do here um so we're not so. going to make any comment on that but all we're just asking is not come yeah out of prison, okay but what you've got to understand from my point of view as well right i'm legally allowed to do that Right, I'm legally allowed to go onto that property, right, because it's uh, once um, private property is accessible by the public, it becomes a public property, yeah. It's accessible by the public when we have visits, exactly, yeah, but yeah. Not, at this moment in time, it's not, but there's no closed gates there, so it is accessible by public, right, and there's only the police that can trespass me from there. Do you understand that? So you can request that I don't do it, yeah, yeah. and they'll get listen yeah 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 privacy of staff and i appreciate you've got a job to do and that's absolutely fine yeah. if you've got a job to do you do it but just think about the decency of staff like you said the staff are decent to the young people in our care the majority are just have a, have a bit of courtesy and a bit of consideration right. the staff. could you give me one bit of um information before i, I go because I'm trying to find out a bit about Keppelwing, because it's new, it were introduced in 2008, wasn't it? Keppelwing. Right, okay, okay. Are you guys OSGs or prison officers? No, so we're, prison, we're custodial managers. Okay, yeah. Okay. Well, listen, yeah, uh, carry on, guys, yeah. Keep doing a good job, keep looking after those young ones in there. I still don't believe that they're getting as much uh, care as what they need after prison, right? I believe they get released with a discharge grant of £60. Um, they're just let back out onto the streets. There's no real care afterwards. The probation don't really care. That and, um, other agencies to deal with. Other so that's like saying that that's like saying that once they come out of there that you don't care. Do you know what I mean? No, because we do we do our yeah. bit of what we can do in house. Yeah, yeah. And, and we okay. Have with right, yeah. Spending teams and we do all that work. Right, once, yeah. Unfortunately, once they're released from prison, yeah. they are out of our care then. Yeah, yeah. So it's a mess, isn't it? The full system's a mess, isn't it? 
So anyway, guys, I'm just going to carry on back with my piece. God bless. Have a nice day, all right? Cheers. Right, guys, so, yeah, this is, um, this is a residential part. It's nothing to do with prison. I was just trying to get a good vantage point on top of there um, and, and just say my piece about how, how young offenders end up in here. You might call them bad. They might have done bad things. A, a lot of them might have done really, really sick and twisted things. But, you know, you've got to look at it. We're all a product of our own environment, aren't we? So, you know, it doesn't necessarily make them bad uh, that they're doing these bad things. There could be a whole number of reasons why they're doing these things. But what we should be doing rather than uh, calling them bad and casting them out is we should be looking to truly rehabilitate them at that age. Because what tends to go on after that is that uh, they'll, they'll go into the HMP service, the 18 to 21 year olds, and then the uh, cons, they call it, the, the 21 and onwards. And by then it's too late. They're roped into it by then. Hello, mate. You alright? Uh, okay, who are you? I work here. Alright, what's your name? Well, you've just come up to me asking me questions and I, I'm i under the um, impression that you guys are not allowed to speak to me or answer my questions. Me? Yeah? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Okay. No, mate, come back. It's on, listen, I'll do um, quid pro quo. Yeah? Right, well, I'm Andy Wilson, I work here. What's your name? I'm Chris and I'm working here. I work here in Instagram. What do you work here uh, as a media outlet? Yeah, it's a good game, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Nice guy. Um, is it difficult in there um, for the officers? Is it very violent? Um, do, they, do they find it difficult working with young offenders? The wrong guy. You're best speaking to brothers of the media from here. Yeah, but. Um, Do you want to introduce you to him? Yes, please. Come on. Rob, that's brilliant. You know what? That's a very, very warm welcome. Did you see your name were Andy? Yeah. Thank you, Andy. It's really nice to hear that. It's really nice to see that. Right. So how long have you worked here? Uh, about three years. Do you work on the units? Not at the moment, because of Covid. Okay, but before did you? Yeah, I did think you better speak to yeah. the people here, because they, uh, I don't know what their policy is on media and stuff. Yeah, do you, well, do you know anything about the uh, two prison officers who beat up the 17-year-old kid? One got 15 months, one got a uh, 10-month sentence. Yeah. Did you not hear that story? Okay, yeah, well, um, yeah, they, they give him a punishment beating um, because he attacked an officer and they were uh, prosecuted and met the, by the full extent of the law for that. But um, on the whole, on the contrary, in this prison, it's uh, being given a good, a good reputation for uh, helping young children because they are children out there while they're in your care, the class as children. Have you got a minute? This guy's here with a camera. Uh, I'm not sure what the policy is on speaking to people with cameras for the time. Are you going to the other one? Are you coming in? No, I'm just going back there. No, me, me, me and Andy's going to go for a walk, pal. Cause he's, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I'm not going to tell you anymore, so then. Alright, are you going to just let me say my piece on this little part then? Can I just say, can we just talk about the day? We don't have to talk about anything, you know, regarding the prison, Andy. But how long have you worked here? Yeah, I'm not going to talk anymore. Okay. But I'll tell you something, mate, you've been quite fair with me doing that. Uh, I don't even usually get that chance, do you know what I mean? But you were very fair in inviting me down to see what they'd say. And I, no doubt you'd been willing to speak to me had they said you could. Oh, yeah, but I, I expect the prison probably have their own... Uh, do you know what? Yeah, people yeah. To but they, never, they only want to speak to us when we're saying good things about the prison. When we're saying bad things about the prison, they, you know, they never want to reply. So, anyway, listen, um, lo and behold, you take care of yourself, Andy. God bless. Right, guys, um, HM YOI Weatherby. Uh, quite a pleasant experience. Low corruption. Um, good report by the Chief Inspector of Prisons. Now we're going to a very, very corrupt place in the same uh, town. God bless, guys. Peace out.